Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have great news. You've made it through the agony that is the weekend. And finally, it's Monday, which means yet another episode of What the Deck. Today's episode sponsored by NordVPN. As you can see below, you can follow the link. Use the code DANITV to get 70% off three years as well as one month free. More on that in a moment. But as for the topic of today, it is nature versus man more commonly referred to as man versus nature. I don't know why I did it in the reverse order. It feels wrong, but that's okay. Yeah, nature is always before nurture, <laughs> not man. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. Oh my God, oh, finally, a caster streamer who understands me. This is what happens, your brain is like nature versus nurture, nature versus man, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Listen to me, we asked you to submit to us decks in the following format. Man decks built around humans, humanity, and civilization. Or nature decks built around elemental, nature and all things not civilization and humanity. We are going to be playing in that battle of man versus nature. Nox has the man decks, and I want to ask you about that in just a moment. But first, how have you been over winter break? How is life, and how are you feeling on this fine day of What the Deck? I feel like... With Theros having come out, I haven't played nearly as much Magic as I hoped I, I could because every time I try to record, there's renovations in the building and they're drilling concrete. So all my recordings <laughs> are, are completely ruined. Oh my god, that's so funny when you're like, guys, I have this really cool enchantment based Calyx and... <laughs> And let me tell you, um, actually, Eric, the, the businessman behind Day 9 TV, he did an analysis that showed that the amount of dislikes on YouTube is directly proportional to the audio quality. Of course. For our videos, at least. Yeah, like, yeah, if there's of any audio, like, anytime I turn on my heater because it's cold, everyone's like, this video <laughs> blows, and they just down. <laughs> it's, like, terrible. Uh, but it sounds like all the construction work is in a good enough shape for you to participate in today's episode of What the Deck, so... Boy, we are you so should expect happy some here, drilling. Jason. I'm just letting you know. You you should expect to hear a decent amount. Audio of... wise or metaphorically? <laughs> it's it's just, possibly it's some gonna real be a one sided game. There could be some real one. I think they're they're working on the bit like the room above me at the moment. In the other, Gosh, yeah, it's, gonna... it's, it's 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 a thing, Sean. I'm I'll mute myself. You, I'll keep you warmly in my thoughts as I'm piloting my decks for today. Um, some of the decks that were submitted, we have a Rise of the Land deck that tries to overwhelm with land. We have some dinosaur and elemental decks. We even have one that is focused on the non-human keyword, which I thought was a very cute way to just be like, oh, it's not, it's not human. Okay, let me type in non-human, so buffs to non-human creatures. What are we going to be seeing from you today, Nox? So uh, there's a variety of, of humans and magic. Uh, they don't tend to work, at least not in standard, together, as like human creatures do something. Um, so there's not much of a human central theme, but there are a lot of humans that do similar things. So you can usually find a variety of creatures that, you know, sort of work in tandem, even though they're not directly connected. And they can sometimes create interesting different archetypes. I, I would say this is definitely the most um, disjointed episode in terms of deck building that I've seen because it, it seems like, you know, you try to find humans that do something specific but then the yeah. rest of the shell kind of says I don't really care that it's a human but fine, I'll use them, I guess. Yeah! Uh, well, hey, <laughs> don't you worry. Don't you worry, Nox. Next yeah. episode's theme, little bit more strict, could potentially have more power level, but right now it's time to decide which is in fact better. I can't remember if it is the Greek theme or the Roman theme of Man versus Nature. Ancient Greek and ancient Romans, as far as I'm concerned, are the exact same civilizations. So wow. we're going to be answering their question through this episode God of this. What the Deck. <laughs> if you've never, yes, no, this is this is just this is just joke commentary on the American education system. I don't know anything except video games. So, um, for any of you who've never seen the episode, we're going to be playing a sampling of some of your decks. Uh, just trying out a variety of them, and then we'll be concluding with the lowest stakes best of three slash five possible using some of our favorites. Before we hop into that, we have a word from the absolute best sponsor callout gentleman of all time, Day9, to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. Let's hear from him. That's right, Day9. Today's episode of What the Deck is sponsored by NordVPN, a service that includes... 
encrypts your connection to the internet using one of over 5,500 servers in 60 countries. This will hide your IP address, prevent your ISP from saving and selling your usage data, and it allows you to get around various region blocks for content. NordVPN has been independently verified to have no data logging policy. That means no connection timestamps, session information, traffic information, bandwidth usage, etc. You can connect up to six devices with unlimited bandwidth usage, and it works on Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. We have a link over at nordvpn.com slash day9tv, and if you use the code day9tv, you'll get 70% off a three-year plan. If you have any concerns, no worries, as there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Without any further ado, let's head to What the Deck. Oh my god, I'm muted on my own stream. Let me say that one more time. That is my favorite thing to do in the entire universe, Knox, to throw to myself as a monument to vanity. Okay, was but I here's the thing, smooth? Sean. Huh. It was very smooth. If, let's say, you were to play Magic, hmm. and you lose a game because you throw it, did you throw to yourself? We're going to find out at least five times in today's episode. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> That's too real. It's too real. It's too real. It's too real. Uh, once again, thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this episode. You can use code DAY9TV to get 70% off three years and a month free. Without any further ado, Knox, I'm going to be doing some deck intros, baby. Okay, let's go. All right. We have some questionable, questionable content, man. Oh, my God. These decks maybe get there, maybe never do. Let's take an investigation. Let's begin with Drawseer's Amplifling deck. Now, I want to note, Drawseer is Richard backwards, and I can't not see it. So there it is, Richard backwards. Let's discuss this pile of cards. Look at Fling. As an additional cost to cast the spell, sack a creature, it deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to any target. Now, we said elemental, nature, things of this sort, and we do have some loose references, things like Escape to the Wilds. Um, but the big thing is that we have Amplifier, the juiciest elemental, that can wind up searching through the library until it reveals a creature, and until your next turn, Amplifier's base power becomes twice that card's power, and its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness. So in other words, the only creature we have in here is Impervious Great Worm, so we can use this elemental to become a 32-32. <laughs> oh, it's so juicy. Now, just to make sure that we can consistently get it, we have four Masterminds acquisitions. Oh, this mana base. We have three Vivian Arcbow Rangers to minus five to choose something from outside the game. And as is always the case, we have 24 lands in a deck that really needs 27. So let's go ahead and go home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to do a direct challenge to Nox with this Amplifling deck. I don't know what it is with people in 24 lands. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's always endlessly unclear to me. Oh my god. I swear to god. I love, I love passing the baton from me live to me recorded. Look at this. You will always see me in the exact same shirt in those. You see that? You see how clean that is? You see? You see what's nice? And we're in a pink shirt here. And we're in a pink shirt in the video. But of course, it does kind of imply that when that call out was recorded, that I simply didn't change clothes or shave for several days until today. So, ugh. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Mm -mm -mm. Nox apparently has a deck that's way more complicated than ours. So, you know, whatever. Whatever Nox just needs to do. Gosh, I'm so clever. See, this, this is the way to work with sponsors that traditionally work with YouTubers, where there's a lot of back and forth about the video to make sure that all the uh, vocabulary is used correctly, especially when there is a technical product where a slight deviation in language can actually make what I would be saying incorrect. Um, but how do you do it with live? How do you make sure that all lines up live? <laughs> just, oh, oh! Oh, galaxy brain mode. And after that moment of brilliance, there is no hey, doubt Sean, in my Sean, mind. Hey, Sean, Shawnee boy. Shawnee boy. Yeah. yeah. I've been challenging you. What's going on, bud? Wait, under what? Are you challenging what the host? 68 
370. Yeah, yeah, you're 60, 60 and 370, 60 card, BO1, coin flip. And are you... What is going on? Challenge. Noxious. Okay. 60 card, best of one, coin flip. Against Noxious? Yeah. I'm challenging you. Are you challenging me too? I'm challenging you. Oh, clearly you're not challenging enough. I think Are the you using French is challenged. Challenge? Well, of course. Oh. Oh. What? What? Oh. What? What, mate? Oi! You, you, I... you forgot about the thing. Oh. Oh, oh my God. I'm I'm in a moment of of abject panic. Okay, Dex. Home. I have a friends list. Click. Noxious. Play. I know we don't have okay, any wait. friends. Do it again. But... Do it again. We're gonna we're gonna get there. I got it. I'm in the game. Well, not in the game. I'm waiting on you to pick a deck. All right. I I, I hit the wrong button. Completely hey. rechallenge me again. You cancel the challenge, dude. This friends list I... challenge. This is the most comp. Oh, I mean, this is it. This is we're, we are at breach of contract at this point in time. I'm going to accept. I'm going to play this deck. But I. Whew, oh my god. Oh. This works, right? All right, we got in there, Sean. Right, oh my so god. I'm going to be playing a deck. Uh, I think it's amazing. I, I don't know if your first deck is good. This deck is what is commonly referred to as a pile of cards. Fair but enough, fair enough. It's, I would like to describe this deck as when you watch a really garbage B horror movie where everyone is acting their hearts out, right? Like you can see the passion behind it, but it's awful. Like that's the deck that I'm working with today, man. Well, whoever made the deck, I hope that makes you feel better. Oh, it's <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, well, so, you know what? So Luckily for us, we're both playing a very slow game here. You know, none of us is going mm. uh, super quickly. Seems like. I mean, you're, you're still fabled passaging on three lands, so... Did you ever look at that mountain art that you've got on the board? Oh, yeah, no, this have, is have like... Ever really... It's so beautiful, this one. Dude, okay, dude, I need to just have an ode to the land artists in Magic specifically, where if you said, we need to have hundreds of different forests thematically themed, I'd be like, <laughs> there's... There's one forest. Like, I will draw one, one forest for you. I'm gonna copy Look. paste it on paint. I don't even know how it's <laughs> possible. I don't even know how it's possible. Geniuses, absolute geniuses. All right, now I just want to uh, note for the moment. You'll see that I have two mountains out. You see this? These yeah. What about it? Are the only two mountains that I have in your deck? And I have well, in fine, the entire though. deck. If you have a decent amount of, of land fetching, you should be okay, though. That shouldn't be a when problem. When enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah, huh. boy. Yeah, boy. You hear that, Sean? This is the sound of your demise. All right, well... You, 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 know, you could play into this. You know, I'm, I'm going to mastermind the acquisition to choose a card I own from outside the game. And that, I'm just going to uh, get... Wait, hold up. <laughs> that is not what I thought would happen. Oh my god, the combos. <laughs> yeah, I like the amount of humans involved here. Yeah, wait, where where's the where's the humanity? Alright, well, okay, so I'm I'm going to just I'm gonna do this on my main phase. I'm going to destroy your creature to find Jesus, I don't find even know what I need. To find Jesus? <laughs> I, <laughs> man, please, like, I, please do. Uh, I really feel like what do you I really? need it. Again? Yeah, it doesn't die. It's undiable. You cannot put dye on it. It will not change color. Oh, this is so risky. What? I'm doing this now. Oh my goodness. Now, that is that such an is... ambitious line of play. Yeah. Dang. You fight this like is... a city. Bright. Dang, Sean. 
one do I want? Let me get this one. This is, I mean, this is ambitious. And you know, I, I'll be honest with you. Dang. What? What? Well, well, I'll be honest with you. I, I just forgot that you could cast creature spells with Flash with this one. I have not been using Vivian Champion of the Wilds in some in some time. Really? So I, I, I'm just gonna not block. Now, I, I'm gonna just ask a kind favor of you. Please, please don't kill Amplifier, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh. Uh, well, Sean, you. <laughs> well, I, thanks for that, bud. Yeah, no. Uh, d d is can I can I kill you? Is this okay to kill sure, you? Sure, go okay. ahead. You, you, yeah, yeah. All right, we did it. <laughs> Boom. Uh, you, d you deserve to die to the mayhem devil trigger at one life. That's what you deserve. This game is. I I very nearly shot, fling at amplifier. Like I very nearly almost just hit a targeting error. All right, it was it was a great success. Like now that that was that was probably the quickest game of Magic the Gathering that we have ever played. On this on this on this show on for this sure. Show. On this show, <laughs> definitely. On this show. Yeah, and it's up there in terms of uh, it's it's also that I didn't know that you played sixteen sixteen, you know. But I I did feel the nature theme come through. The humans yeah. on my side didn't do a whole lot. It was yeah, like what, demons, you know. Uh, I, Humans you and know, devils, you know? <laughs> so I feel like what I've done is I've read chapter one and two of your book, and I really want to know what happens on the last two pages. Like, what what is that deck even about? Where's it's got a few humans. I mean, the humanity is in the things that... It's like the nobles and the aristocrats that sacrifice things. Those are humans. You know, in true human fashion, they just destroy and strive on. It's just, you know, it's a... Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a political message. That's sort of what the deck is all about, Sean. <laughs> Well, that's perfect. Well, that's perfect. I, yeah. I I have a more focused deck than the one that was just played that I'm I'm going to be excited to run on out. But you know, I'm sure we'll wind up seeing the Amplifying deck in a quick moment here too. Yeah. Once we get back, I, to I'm the ready to go. Matches. Yeah. All right. I'm going to showcase this deck. Brb. Sure. I, I will show this deck as well. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and look at why new new why Dino Pal deck. It's a four color deck that's pretty straightforward, okay? We have Dinosaur for card draw, Thran's Temporal Gateway to put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield, and the, the whole nature theme about this is dinosaurs. Well, let's get Zakama Primal Mama out. Let's get Nezahal Primal Tide out, right? We just have all these dinosaurs that we're looking to get. Oh no, the dinosaur died. No big deal. We have Elspeth Conquers Death to bring it back. How will we get enough land to do it? Thunderherd Migration. Growth Spiral. Wilderness Reclamation. But what can I do at end of turn? Summon a dinosaur. Or even Vivian's Arcbow to disco a card, look at the top X, and just place it back onto the battlefield. The mana base of this one is actually kind of interesting looking. We have a single red mana, in case we actually need to cast this Akama Primal Mama. Runs 25 lands. A very suitable choice for a deck that has 5 cards that cost 6 or more, and 10 cards that cost 5 or more. Oh. Nox is using the friend challenge. I was not challenging him as a friend. I was challenging him as a mere other human. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
I don't know if it's the more powerful deck, but it always feels more powerful to me than Simic. Although I guess Teamer is basically Simic Red. Mm -mm -mm. Um, humans yeah, versus nature. Yeah, dude. Dinosaurs. What's more natural than that? Oh, what? Dude, if you, you had this last time... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you just played I the wander. I would have died oh. though because you would have swung at 32 32 on the upkeep, right? I don't know. I, I don't feel like I had much of a shot last game. I gave you an out and you know as soon as I saw it I had to give it to you. I had to give it to you. I mean, oh, you, you, are, wow. you are too kind. I'm playing wow, some high Sean. power cards. I can tell. Yeah, we're in a triangle. I'm magic. It's unfortunate you have no creatures in your graveyard though. It is true. If only my growth spiral could come back as a meaty one. Okay. What what is being attempted to be done here? <laughs> I like, mean, Sean. I, I'm I'm gonna look real dumb in a second here because like I need to draw cards with the Ripjaw Raptor. I like really need to draw cards. Uh It won't even come back. <laughs> it's oh just there, God. Sean. Oh, it's dude, just if, there. If you saw my hand, you'd be so embarrassed for me. I'd be embarrassed? As in... Ashamed that... Oh, wow. Yeah, You're playing like, this in a friendly game? Now, now That's I just want to be really clear. I, have abs I don't even think there's any instance in this deck. Um... All right, it's all you. Sean, you disappeared. You disappeared too. Well, Discord, no, no, Discord I, disappeared. I, no, Discord was fine. You disappeared. Yeah, no, my Discord restarted. Oh. I'm coming back. Don't worry. Oh, Don't that's worry. Unfortunate, Sean. I'll never leave you, my friend. <sighs> so, like, right now, I, I just, I can't do anything. Amaranthin Wall can gain indestructible till end of turn. Okay. No. The no. humans have spoken. <laughs> so, Sean, there are two types of humans in this world. The humans who build the walls and the humans who make the walls unbuild. Wait, 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 I'm trying to understand this. So, these, oh, that's right. The UI, okay. The UI <laughs> bastards yes. at Wizards. Okay. True fact. High alert says each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. In terms of the UI, it shows a blue six right there where the power is. But, but it it's shouldn't not exist. a six. It's not there. It's not there. So this has zero, this has zero, and things <laughs> with power toughness one or less can't be blocked. Yeah, what a getting human. Hit. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I mean, I can deal with this. With what? With high alert? Elspeth conquers death. Oh, I see. I see what's happening All here. Right. I, I now see what? the grand benefit. You want might? Okay, so you can actually discard creatures to bring them back. Whoa. Yeah. That's some advanced theory crafting, mate. Who did this that? The IQ Sparta. behind this is going to be so high. Look at this. Zakama in the bin. Boom. Now I get to cast something that costs seven. Seven? Are you kidding me? Tell me you me? got seven lands. <laughs> no, no, no. No, Are I got so many spells. Dude, this deck runs six creatures. No, no, no. Ten creatures. Mentor of the Meek whenever another thing enters. Whenever walls come down, I get to draw more. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. You see the humans that support the walls? <laughs> the right, question, Sean, is some... whose mana will pay for the walls? <laughs> I have not... Not mine. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, it hurts. Make all right, dreams. all right, let me get rid of this. Uh, <laughs> Vivian's arc bow. Give me something, give, right. me something give me something, give me something. I have to click resolve. <laughs> you have to ask nicely. <laughs> please, please let me resolve this, please. Okay. Oh, shit. 
Oh, they didn't even God. have creatures in there, Sean. Oh, you might have man. to put creatures for that to work, right? Everybody's aware that creatures must be in here. This mentor of the walls has been absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> it's this mentor of the walls is just like, <laughs> oh, what? Oh, this guy I can block. Okay, yeah. all right, we. You can block <sighs> the meek. You can block the mentor of the walls. Wait, you have right. a Zakama in the bin, but no red mana. What you gonna do with that? I'm gonna heal, baby. <laughs> Oh, that is a fair point. I completely forgot about this. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Game three life. <laughs> oh god. What an absolute and unmitigated disaster. Game three I had life. A, I, oh god, Game Sean. Game three life. Oh, let me do this. Hey, Timmy. Timmy, stop. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> oh, yes. Game that life. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see how the walls and the humans are fighting nature right now. Honestly, the flavor of this match is this on is point. The, this <laughs> match encapsulate everything that the Greeks slash Romans wrote about in their drama slash plays, okay, man? Yes. Oh my god, the mentor of the walls is just absolutely card drawful. Now, the instant that you draw one high alert, I think I lose the game immediately. Uh, not yet, but eventually, yes. Destroy Aha! Effect, you? you can't block me! Wait, hold okay. on. What? You, uh, oh, I see what you're- oh, I, I saw what your thoughts were. You think yeah, I can't you, read your thoughts? You, you read think my I mind. Can't read your, yeah, I did. I know you can. Yeah. Yeah, nice no, try, I can't. Sean. I can't destroy the amaranthine walls. For any of you curious, I just checked this because you can pay two to gain indestructible till end of turn. But you could like respond to the two mana by tapping more mana. So, like the way Whoa, you do it. Oh, that's like, filthy. On end step, you're like you pay three. You say Nox, you want to pay two, and I say yes. Then you say, well, I'm gonna pay three more. So you just add a bunch of mana to your pool, and then you just have infinite triggers. Like you know, it's pretty sick. What? Yeah. How? How is this even possible? <laughs> You this gotta pay nine, Sean. You gotta pay nine. To get another Zakama out, I have a Zakama right there. No! Don't. No! Oh, Day shit. nine rhymes with pay nine. <laughs> Alright, quickly. Game three life. Why quickly? There's no rush. Quickly. Well, I had to do it quickly because I forgot to put a stop. Oh. Gain life. Gain life. Okay. See, I, so you can swing for six, twelve, twenty-two. 23, 24. Okay, Currently, so... I can swing for nothing but potatoes. Like, I've got, I got absolutely nothing to swing Don't worry. with right now. Don't worry. Watch, 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 watch. I watch, watch, watch. I'm going to destroy this. And then while that is on the stack. I'm oh, going to save. The technical play. I mean, I like the idea that Zakama, though huge, is actually, like, really nimble. And it's She's just trampling backflips. walls, though. She's just trampling walls. All right, Sean. The See, moment of truth. All right, I didn't save any mana for this high alert because that's how confident I am. That's In how what? confident I am that you're not going to draw it. I there is a zero oh. percent chance that you are going to draw. <laughs> well, high that alert. was the spy oh, I put at the top of the deck, Sean. I don't know about that. Was a very sketchy call by you. I don't know about that confidence. Listen, I'm no expert, Sean, but that looks like a high alert to me. <laughs> Listen, I've just been experiencing bad luck. I've just been through the bad luck ringer with Vivian's arc bow. But you're alive. I know. I, you're, the you're way, alive. I mean, you're I know I'm alive, alive because I, I was thinking ahead. I was using this noggin right here, man. I was, you're, okay. these these neurons are firing so hard. Like if I were in an MRI right now, it would be like lit up. Oh good, a thunder herd migration. Okay. Whew. One. Actually, I should do it this way. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Okay. What? Well, that's what I got. <sighs> that's a big thing. Attack! I can't believe the rush of not completely biffing. <laughs> like, 
Alright. Resolve. High alert. Shoot it. Yeah. Just shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. No one wants to shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. I'm just gonna draw another one anyway. No, no, don't worry. Like, they, like I, the kids say, we're Gucci. I have a plan to get around that. And you want to know this plan? What? Keeping mana up? That's right. <laughs> Keep mana up because I'm using the noggin. Yeah, but are you ready for Arcades, which is not an artifact or an enchantment? Not even remotely. <laughs> like, all right, come on, me. I won't, Sean. What is this? Creatures can't attack you or... Pl oh, unless they pay one more. Oh, dude, these yeah. humans. They're all working together. I just have, like, a bunch of independent dinosaurs that is each a nation. Independent dinosaurs. Yes. Yeah, right. Independent dinosaurs. That's a funny one, Sean. You want to gain some life in the second main? No, I'll wait till end step. I have a stop there. What? Uh, nothing. Alright, I'll destroy this deep freeze. <laughs> and then I'll... <sighs> oh... Why did I gain? Why did I draw a card? Because you have Neza Hall on the board. Oh my gosh! I haven't played this. It was this, a non-creature spell. You thought you hit your rib jaw. You were like, "Whoa! I hit my rib jaw with the ability." That's I know. I know. Works. Like you, boy, you know he's me got, well. Like, uh, he's, got, he's got wooden fingernails, and like by destroying that, you actually dealt damage <laughs> to him. <laughs> he has wooden fingernails. Oh my <laughs> god! That. Okay, can we just take a moment to talk about X-Men that never made it to air, okay? Like the guy with wooden fingernails, that he can just grow them very quickly, right? Where yeah. it's just like, I have an itch I can't scratch. And he's like, hold on. Yeah, and it's then they so called him Groot, uh, and they put him elsewhere. Yeah, no, it's just like, oh no, the city's in danger. He's like, all right, do you do you guys need some backup? And like, no, 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 just keep the coffee warm, okay? Just stay here, like... Yeah. It's like, you can't really put out a flame, just a mild heat. <laughs> Cats love him. He... Oh my god, Sean. Yeah. That's a lot of the commas. Oh wait, I can't attack with these. Honestly, this match has been phenomenal. This, I have this nothing is... that... I, I've been loving every bit of this, because you're enjoying your Timmy stuff, and I'm here playing like the combo build that doesn't really combo, but kind of works when it does go off. I feel like both our decks did what they were supposed to this game. <laughs> oh my god, dude, in chat, a tiger with laser beam says, beware the might of Twig Finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That is such a good name. Oh. All right, now, here's the thing. I'm using some of my next level mind games to keep the mana up in case you cast high alert. Okay, that's... That's the eventuality that we are prepared for here on Day 9 TV now. All right, Tranquil Cove, gain life, no problem. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. I know. I know how you, all things you, is. You know how it be. All Sometimes right. I think it, it don't be like it is, but it do. Sometimes it just do. All right. Healing. Feel the Healing. Monk and tear them down. Healing! Sean. Yes. Have you been playing some StarCraft 2 again recently? Uh, Two, three months ago I was playing, yes. Yeah, I feel like I, I, I just went super hard into it and then I kind of didn't. You do that too? Well, you just have these periods of... You just want to play it all the time and then you stop. Dude, no, look, 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 I want to actually build on that. You know how when a child watches Frozen and all they do is rewatch the movie Frozen and listen to that song all day, nonstop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. am like that with most experiences. Like, Me too. I will be like, ooh, I want Chipotle. And then I'll eat, like, a Chipotle <laughs> burrito salad like 15 days in a row for lunch every single day. Yeah. And they'll be like, are you bored of this? I'm like, no. 
Not yet, but wait until I am, then I will never touch it again. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm never eating Somebody asked me about Chipotle, it's like, actually, this is garbage food. I don't know how people can stomach this. I can't. I don't know. Listen, you, you just need to let it go. Let it go. Oh my god, again? Okay. Discard with the arc bow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Disney hire this man. Yeah, Disney, yeah, get yeah. on it. Yes. Mama Zakama. But dude, I do I do it with like everything. Like there's there's a type of music that I want to start listening to, and I'll only listen to that. I've been listening to polka for a week, and I am like a hardcore, deep bassy electronic music kind of person. What is this? Lena, I selfless champion. I had no idea I had this at the top of the deck and how well it would work with Mentor of the Mook. But it is about to Mentor of the Mook very well. Okay, so when this... <laughs> Shit, that's a lot of triggers! This is, not, this is not a good moment in my life. This is like more triggers than a university campus in 2020. Damn, you are just, you are just on it today. Nah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sean. Alright, okay. I wish I had more lands on the battlefield. But you don't. I'm gonna individually hit resolve all, because I want to make sure that none of these slip past my attention. <sighs> pass. I must pass. Okay. Okay. Do, are you, are you, what's... Are we going... What? Are you, not, are what? you going what? in? Yeah, are you going, what? What are you doing? Okay. I'm going in. You know what? Bring it on. Yes. You know, Sean, I realized something great about walls. Hmm, what is that? You need land to build walls on. I've got Gosh. plenty of both. Dude, like, what, what is up with the, like, the, the political heavy stuff today, Nox, man? No, there's no political. I'm talking like you need land to build walls. Like, it, this, I have lands. When I draw 18 cards, I draw 17 lands. I just okay. need to get more lands for the walls. Okay. It's All good. Right. Well, I'm just I feeling. Let you know. What? I have one mountain in this deck. <laughs> and with that what? one mountain. No, no, you're kidding. You're not serious. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. Exactly. You don't, you don't. I refuse to I believe ha you. I have one. but a single mountain. You have a single butt? But a single mountain. Oh my god, I wish these guys had trample. I mean, I'm gonna have to keep going in. I'm at 50, but I'm, I'm actually not sure. Because, I mean, oh, are you actually, like, Omega blocking this? Oh, there's seven. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to I'm gonna lose Sakama. Now, if you didn't do that, you could also swing for seven each turn. Huh? This is just when it enters a battlefield. I'll hit the Mentor first. Healing. Healing. Ha-ha! The second part of the I, card I, that no what? one reads. <laughs> yeah, are, I've never seen this card before. <laughs> I am processing all new information, man. <laughs> oh my god, how humiliating. Okay, if I get to the end of the turn, this untaps. Alright, alright, Vivian. Do you have another mama? You probably have another mama in there, I right? have four. I have four. You have four moms? Let's, let's discard Thrawn's Temporal Gateway. Oh, Got nice. It. This is humiliating. Welcome back. No, you know what's embarrassing? No red mana. The deal three damage to target creature is so good, and I can't use it ever, man. It's true. You're gonna swing it's, it's with a million nine damage. unblockable. Not yet. It's only just beginning, Sean. Oh my gosh! All right, now I think my strategy is changing to a mill strategy. Like I need you to run out of cards. That's going you know to be what? the attempt that, that's I'm going to make. So, that's such a clever thing to do, though. No. Oh God. He is but a scratch. Oh. I mean, I, I'm lacking walls. The wall count is a tidbit lower than I wish it were. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. As long as you don't get lifelink, this is just right. This is a very But I'm starting to wonder, Sean. Yeah. What are you wondering? Oh dude, if you played one Linden, 
<laughs> he's just like, oh, that would be so <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, that would be brutal. That would be that would be horrible. I suspect I have to do this. Because this way, if you get one red, you can't kill Arcades, right? Because it can only deal three. This is such an issue. This is such yeah. an issue. Oh my god. Alright, so I can't block any of this. Yeah. But if I swing back... Yeah, well that's the problem. I have to do math, and that's not my... Oh no. Yeah, you know how slowly I do math, Sean. I haven't been trained like you have. Your my mind is not as I mean, acute as yours. You that is such a good point that you bring up because I've consistently shown my ability to do math on air in front of a live audience with accuracy. Like that's something that I I mean I'm, I would even dare say I'm famous for it, man. I really struggle with it, Knox. It's I, I have a hard time. Boom, there it is. Welcome back. Again! 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 Alright. Oh, hold up. Alright, uh... I see what's happening here. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you have this choker over here, Baird. Baird Steward of Argave. Oh my god. Yeah, no, you know what? Kill it. That's fine. It's fine. What? Kill what? Kill Zakama? Yeah, I don't even need Zakama. You don't? Well, then. Very well. Excellent. Let us proceed. Am I actually going to lose this game? I think I don't think I can win this, unless you Mentor of the Meek yourself to death. What is that card? Mm. Oh my goodness! Oh god, what Holy is it? Holy boy! Show me what you got. Who's healing now? <laughs> oh. It is a human. It is it is the king. The king of the wall. The king beyond the wall. <laughs> Dude. And I hope Humpty Dumpty has a great fall. Like this is <laughs> Look at all of this stuff that I can't block. Oh my god, I'm gonna get pecked to death. This is like death by hummingbird, man. This is not... I mean, it's like losing to the guy with six Pidgeys, you know? <laughs> you like, you, get, you just... You got like your one beefed up guy, and the guy's just like, I have six Pidgeys under leveled, and just, you know, gusts you to death. <clears throat> well, this is a card. <clears throat> it has a, a jaw, and it is ripping. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know! I don't, like, this doesn't feel like a card. Oh, you know what? This works with walls, though. What? What is, what are these cards? As re Creatures you control the chosen type plus one plus one as long as the city's blessing. They also have vigilance. Uh, walls! <laughs> <laughs> I feel precisely yeah. the same way you do right now. More or less. I can't block any of these. No, you can't. Wall. Yes, give the walls plus one plus one. Yeah, because I, I want to give them vigilance mostly. <laughs> I can't believe we did it. You know, I feel like I'm playing my old school squirrel deck right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Oh my gosh, the destroy all artifacts just owned me. I think I lose next turn. I suspect you do, oh unless you have God. the dinosaur guy. So do you not have the triple wide guy that kills all the non-dinosaur creatures? Absolutely I, I don't, man. Not in a that million would years. So good in your deck. Just kill me. What is the alarm for? What? You have lost. You have lost. <laughs> That's an alarm to wake up for what the deck. Can you believe how off that is? What if what if I had slept in and woke up and looked at my phone and it was 12:52? <laughs> do you do All you right. ever skip time like this? Well, we're going to get to draw. Let's see what we get. Oh my god. 
Why says I'm says Sean? It's an alarm to tell you you've lost. Hey, wow! Look at that. Only 30 seconds late. I cannot believe that you I won, won this. That game. Yeah, me neither. I but honestly, this was a beautiful game. I, I did it feel was, the whole humans versus nature thing there. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it was one of those things where like just, it was good. <sighs> yeah, no, it was one of those things where like I I was feeling such power coursing through my veins as you had these walls sitting there and doing nothing, but the mentor of the meek was just absolutely overpowerful, man. Absolutely overpowerful. Yeah, I really I like the way that a lot of those decks is just they're just playing a few humans in there, right? Mm. Just yeah. For the little support, um, and honestly, like I'm really this this is the kind of match that makes me really happy. We modified some of the rules for the what the deck submissions yeah. because this is very loose, right? Like yeah. walls, like yeah, yeah, a yeah. wall deck. Here's a, yeah, here, I want a man deck. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put walls in there. Like okay, sure, sure. Yeah, no, yeah. there was like cause, uh, for any of you who don't know, like the theme is just give us a deck focused on humans, humanity, civilization. Not a deck that requires like seven humans and they have to be three different types. Because we, we started off with rules like that. Because I do think that rules are very nice for helping people start to get inspired. But, you know, we were saying things like include four copies of Fibblethip and someone would take the best Azorius control deck that was at the top of the meta and then just sneak four Fibblethips in. And it was like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, we're not, we're not here to win, man. We are not here to win. We are here to experience, man. We're here. I enjoyed this. Experience. Ah, that was satisfying. I enjoyed getting killed by 3232 within three minutes and a half. <laughs> and yeah, I enjoyed no, going so, for an hour. I am so night. relieved. Like, this is one of those, like, thank God the live content wasn't horrible. Because let me tell you, I remember, I remember once upon a time, I used to stay up every single time it was the finals of the OGN Star League. From, like, mm -hmm. 2003 to 2010, I did not miss a single broadcast StarCraft match. I didn't get a lot of them live, but I watched every single one. NBC Star League, OGN Star League, and every OSL Finals, I would stay up till 2 or 3 in the morning, depending upon uh, if we were on Daylight Saving Times or not, um, to watch the finals. And I stayed up to watch uh, Jadong versus Yellow. And it was a Zerg versus Zerg. And it was over in, like, 41 minutes. I mean, it was just, like, That was, really like, 10 years ago. That, that, was, uh, yeah. that, was, that was 10 years ago or so. Yeah, right. I think it was 2009. Uh, yeah. Okay. It was horrible. It was really bad. It was not good. No, it was later than that. It must have been 2010 or 2011. I think it's 2010. The, the yellow versus Jadong, I remember was, uh, yeah. I remember that. They, they That was when he was uh, an ace, right? Like when, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, the, the other yellow, Yarn C yellow. It, does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The important thing, like, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of viewers watching, like, <laughs> what I don't are you even talking, about? talking about? Yellow is not a color in magic. <laughs> Oh my god, so good. Okay, I am going to show you my anti-human deck. I'm very excited. BRB. Okay. Now, here's what I mean by anti-human. Okay, this is Weapons Grade Human, is the name of this submitter. Thanks, Weapons Grade Human. Is submitting the non-human deck. So, for instance, Wildwood Tracker. If you control another non-human creature, gets plus one, plus one. Look at Grum Gully. Each other non-human creature you control enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. We have Wildborn Preserver. Whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X. Oh! We also have Opportunistic Dragon. When it enters the battlefield, choose target human or artifact and gain control of it until the opportunist, uh, opportunist... You can read it. I can't. Until this card leaves the battlefield. Cosmotronic Wave for the lulls, and of course, Return of the Wild Speaker. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control. And of course, an Escape to the Wilds. Uh, and no doubt in my mind, 22 lands! <laughs> That's ambitious! Yeah, I'm doing it! That's my weapons grade, human. I can't believe I'm first to challenge Nox, man. This is gonna be great. Select to the deck. Anti-humans time. Anti-humans time. Anti-humanity. So I am, uh, I am nature and true. Nox is man. What's true? Somebody jumping into the stream with no contact seeing me listed as man.
I like, wait, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for why, why for anyone we... confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, man. Someone's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, know. then what? Uh... Okay, Starfield Mystic, the human cleric. Okay, so we're going to be up against some enchants in a pants. So I'm going to pay the two life. Ooh. And pass. Now, Nox, pass. I know you're a huge fan of enchantments. This is this is clearly pandering. Uh, this is like enchantress. Uh, I I love enchantment. Green white is just such a beautiful archetype. Oh, you're playing the Wildborn deck. Ah. Mm -hmm. I see how it is. Okay, you know what this? It's funny because I like the this. humans a lot, but I miss the. Do you, do you know the wombat? Do you know rabid wombat, Sean? Rabid wombat? Do, are <laughs> yeah. you talk, is this a magic card, or do yeah, I know the concept it, of a rabid no, 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 wombat? No. Well, I mean, can you imagine a rabid wombat? Yeah, yeah, I have it okay. in my mind's eye as we speak. Well, okay, there is a card called the rabid wombat, and it is about as awesome as you're picturing right now. Um, as wow. a magic card. So that used to be one of, the, is awesome. one of the first few cards that really got me super interested in thematic deck building. Are you okay, Sean? You see I'm the... just reading your cards. Yeah, they oh do things. Gosh. Dude, they, yeah. like, I am suddenly being teleported to M19 drafts. Like, these are cards that I've not thought about <laughs> in so in long. decades. Yeah. Yeah, so Rabbit well, Wombat, sorry. what he used to do is it was a wombat that you could put auras onto, and for each aura on the wombat, it would gain plus two, plus two. So it would basically just make the aura even better. So the more auras the wombat got, the bigger the wombat got, and you just create this gigantic wombat fiesta, and you could one-shot people with wombats. It was it was a, a gorgeous time. I, I wish we... So listen, I'm just going to say it right now. If anybody at Wizards is currently listening to me, can we please get a, a, a better reprint of Rabid Wombat? You know what? What? Let's you can get call that it Wabid, Wabid Rombat. <laughs> Dude, I, by the way, I love so much that the card reveal you got was Noxious Grasp. Like, that's yes. so good. That's, someone's paying attention. This was not spreadsheeted. Sean said, I mean, spitting all over the screen. The kill of green and white planeswalker. I think that's on that's on point, right? It was it was on point. Oi, mate! It, you're popping off, man. I'm I'm drawing cards. That's all I'm doing. Oh my Bam. god! Cedar druids, some humans, Woo. some humans, some humans. Oh, oh Siona makes a lot of humans. That's true. Ah. 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 Oh. Oh, I need, oh, I need, oh. I need love. <laughs> I need love right now <laughs> so bad. What is this whenever an aura you control becomes attached to a creature? Oh my God. Yeah. Are these humans? They are. Yeah, oh they are. <laughs> All right. Now, as much what? as we love to rag on 24 lands, being in every what the deck, deck ever this one has 22 <laughs> and that's not enough you done goof sean yes land i am a dragon of opportunity oh my are you serious right now are you serious wait what just we serious yeah wait what wait what whenever an enchantment you control is put into the graveyard. Dude, when you stole it, the aura went into the graveyard because I yeah, had to enchant yeah. a creature I control, and then that yeah. made it, like, bigger and stuff. Whoa! Did that Dude. blow your mind? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. What? Nice. Nice what? We got him. <laughs> We're gonna what? win. We're gonna win. All right, uh, this is... I can't, I can't block next turn. Yeah. <laughs> What's even happening? Oh, my God, dude. Dude, you got... Like, I just... This, this... Your board is just way, 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 way too scary to me, man. Dude, is this scary. is so funny. Oh, my God. 
This deck is I actually just... kind of fun. <laughs> this is sweet. Dude, and look at this. All that glitters. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control, which means every because you control that one, but it's on my creature, Drew right. of the Horns continues to get bigger. <laughs> so it lost its abilities. <laughs> oh my god. god. I can't believe. Why? Wait, why can't I attack? Because it loses all its abilities and you can't attack or block. You just you just prevent it from doing its thing. I don't read. Oh, oh no! I didn't do anything! Oh shit! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought god. you had a plan, Sean. <laughs> oh my god, there's just too much information to process. Well, I don't on understand. the ups here here's the cool thing though. The Citessen Champion's gonna be really fun next turn. Very fun. Are you ready, so Sean? Fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be the funnest. I gotta count on the swing back, so two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sean, it doesn't matter. You're dead on the swing back. Does this guy have trample? He doesn't have trample. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh come on, man! Don't what? do that. You don't have to fight. We don't have to fight. Ah! Oh! A champion right. indeed. <laughs> Good luck, Wildwood <laughs> Tracker. Buff. Wild Tracker's like, oh where, yeah. Where does the trample come from on this thing? From the ranker. I mean, Satessan training. Satessan oh, champion. Oh my god. Yes, Satessan training, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense lore-wise. It got trained. Oh, I just, I wanna, I, I can't believe, you know? Now, what? here's something that I said. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I'm very emotional <laughs> after this loss. Like, I, I talk, <clears throat> now my voice is fucking cracking. Oh, God, I really wanna say, I really wanna say. <laughs> Like, well, look, I'm gonna drink this water and I'm gonna try a second time. Like, like magic is a game where there are tons and tons and tons of decisions to be made at any point in time, and <clears throat> sometimes it's about evaluating: should I do A or B or C? Sometimes it's even seeing that C is an option. Right? That's the hard part of the game. So to say something like, "Oh, you missed that trigger. I didn't see that sort of thing," that's actually normal. And I was saying this to try to be encouraging and positive because there's a lot of people who, who whiff things where they're like, oh my god, that's right, it gets plus one, plus one at the start of the turn. That's not you failing and messing up and being a dumbass. That's actually just the game. That actually happens to everyone at every Mythic Championship I've ever been to. The best players in the world miss triggers, don't think about certain lines, th this sort of thing. Because that's what the game is. The game is the struggle to find the right choice and to find the right line and, uh, and that sort of thing. Now, there was a reason I was saying this. And I, I've, I've forgotten. You There's forgot to read. You were going to say, sometimes it's about reading the card instead of finding the line. I remember what I was going to say. Anytime something like that happens, everyone in my chat's just like, reading is hard. And if people did that in the real world, anytime someone like didn't get a 100% on a test, you'd be like, it was in the book, man. What? You don't know how to read? Reading is hard, man. It's like every single other place where this happens, man. Ugh. I mean, it's fine. Like, so here's the thing: right? being on Twitch in the chat is a license to be a sociopath, and being a streamer <laughs> is giving people the right to treat you as their toy. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly true. That's what true. it is. Every every stream has some percentage of being a torture chamber where you're in a cage and everyone in chat is just poking you with sticks and being like, yeah. look at him twitch when I poke him with this stick. Yeah. A license then, to be a sociopath. That's a fantastic idea where someone has been like a kindergarten <laughs> teacher all day trying to carefully make sure that all the needs of these various children are met and trying to inspire them to learn. <laughs> And then, like, coming home and being like, ugh, cracks and knuckles, that's enough of that shit. Lol, Keck W, purple forehead, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's Memes. exactly, that. that is oh, it. That's so good. License to be a sociopath. I've never heard it stated so eloquently. That is, that's something special. You can thank GoldenEye 
from on the N64 for giving me that, that that phrasing. I would have never known about that phrasing had it not been for License to Kill on that game or whatever that was. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I mean, that... it's a big thing. You know how far back things, like, you're shaped from your very birth. By every oh. little thing you encounter, it's unbelievable, Sean. It's so true. I love to say the choice is yours and yours alone because of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. Oh, it's that so game was so good. And now that, if any of you are in the mood to have some fun after watching this show, because I fully expect you to stay for the full duration of it, you go will. watch some clips of that. Go watch some clips of that because you have never seen children try to do such physically draining tasks and be unable to assemble a silver monkey. It is hilarious. Okay, okay, I want to get back to playing this here video game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. The master of segues. Listen, sometimes you have to use a hammer. Um, we're going to go back to the next game because I have a land-based deck that I want to do. I have a land-based deck that we're going to be doing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Here we go. Okay. All right, this is from Peter, one, two, three, four, five. It's the rise of the land. So the big thing about this is getting big old land out. We have the growth spiral for placing more lands. We have blood sun whenever it enters the battlefield, draw a card. All lands lose abilities except mana abilities. We have some lotus fields here to be able to build up more landitude. Uh, we have the Kiora behemoth beckoner allowing me to double untap um, that land. Grow from the ashes, get more lands out. Circuitous root, get more lands out. Buff the lands with Nissa. Sylvan awakening to finish. Mwah. And then some things that benefit from land. Hungering Hydra, Voracious Hydra, Hydroid Crasis. Now, if we look at the land count, it's 24. Yeah, it's a land-based deck that just is running 24 decks. That's fine. That's okay. We are trying to summon as many Landos as we possibly can do in order to Sylvanly awaken. Hydra land. That's right. That's the natural theme here. All right. Select to the deck. Peter, one, two, three, four, five. Rise of the land. All right. What the host? Going in. And... Bowden goes first. I'm keeping this, man. I know what entertainment value is about. Nox, I'm keeping a two-lander, man. It's okay. I've got a... You know, I, I kept a, a greenless hand and a green... In the green hand. <laughs> it's, we'll be fine, Sean. I got there. I took a trip to get their city. Is what we do. Oh, baby. Oh. What? Oh, we are working. We are working. Blood sun time. Nice. Boop. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Damn so, right. So you haven't done anything at all. Fay of wishes to find something human. Something human? I don't. I don't know. I wish I could tell you that I know what I'm looking for. Show me what I have you like got. A, I, I got. Show me what you're working with. I got. I got. I've. I've got nothing. I've got well, nothing. Absolutely like, nothing. I've got nothing. You've got nothing. Nothing. I'm not a fish. I've got nothing. Are you? I have missed you, in more. I know. Oh. Oh. Compass to find green. I mean, we were gonna pick the compass, but the problem is, I don't feel I can win if I just get one land. Like it's just kind of not enough, and it doesn't really matter. Like you don't need a compass if you're just gonna draw one off the top anyway, because we're just that good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, this guy's in the deck. All this right. guy. Which guy? This guy. Hmm. That guy. Yeah, Cheeto fingers, dude. Have, oh wow! In I had never even noticed. Yeah, you man. ruined you ruined Omnath for me forever. Yeah, dude, he's got he's got Cheetos on his fingers. I this is absolutely. Look at that. He's, he's eating four bags of Cheetos, dude. <laughs> he's just going to town. I just I just realized this can actually put the lands down untapped, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 this is cool. All right. I dig. Woohoo! Wow, I sure love my no ability spires of Araska. Look at this. What? Lotus field. I field. have successfully lotus fielded. And then, oh wow. Oh, really, Sean? 
Nature rises against you with my planeswalker move. Now, now this is what? what's so funny to me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you Keep might talking, think I'm hybrid crazising, but I'm no, gonna you're not. get the land. Wait, what? Boom. Oh, Boom. I'm getting Sylvan awakened. I'm about to get awakened. Well, you even get double green from that, Sean. Hmm. You're so smart. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I am playing Hydroid Crisis. Oh, you are? <laughs> that is the dankest of timelines. Oh, this deck is sweet. It has a lot. I mean, you could have gotten two more mana from that. Yeah, but I, I gotta... Oh, you gotta grow the spiral. I see. Oh, that's, that's a big board. Oh my board. god, this target's an elemental. Oh, nice. Yeah, I oh. know. It, it is an elemental itself, so, you know. Oh what what gosh, have I got? Dude. Do I have something in the sideboard that helps me here? Well, Does anybody I mean, you can, you can I, move I got me from combat. Do I, I can't. Do you have a blood sun? <laughs> oh my god, that's right! <laughs> I'm awesome! Oh, I didn't even realize I was awesome. That's so amazing! Woo! Alright. There's got to be a play. Lands lose all abilities. Boy, I can't oh, find it. Oh, that's so good. Alright, Sean. All right. I need to show think. me what you got. I, I ain't got much right now, but oh it's honest gosh. work. Discard a card. All right, I'm just gonna discard this other copy of Cheeto Fingers, man. You know the fact that <sighs> this just can't actually, you know, sacrifice itself. I can't even sacrifice my Fable Passage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, this guy. You may pay a lot of mana that's difficult to cast, rather than pay the mana cost. Oh, that's so good. Okay, well. These are not intimidating cards. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, Sean. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Wait, don't they lose all their abilities? Because the they blood do. sun. No, they don't because the blood sun came first. That's true. Layers and stuff. Yeah, like how how does any of what you said just work? Can you explain a little bit of that? Because I know that's a little confusing. Basically, uh, they gained it with Sylvan Awakening. But if I played a blood sun right now, it would disable them all as creatures, right? Yeah, they would all lose that stuff. Hmm. I'm doing the math. I think I'm dead. It, mathematically speaking, I think I, I think I get there. So I mean, this is this is another one of those like didn't even get to see the theme of the deck, man. Didn't even get to see the theme of what was going down. Well, you there. saw the theme. You saw Joda. That that was the theme. Was to try to summon things out for Cheapo. Somebody says I don't think being a creature is an ability. No, but I think having haste and reach and indestructible that's the ability, right? So they would not, right? Ah, so if I... Okay, that's right. So it's like any land that exists in the game. When you play Blood Sun, it says lands lose all abilities. Um, so that means that when it's played, all lands and all decks lose all that stuff. As long as Blood Sun's in the battlefield. But then if they mm -hmm. gain something after that, like Haste or Vigilance, that came after the Blood Sun. No! No, Nox! No! Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. We're going to go to the break screen. You You disappeared and then reappeared. Ah, 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 no, ah, it crashed. Don't worry. Look at this. Look at this lightning speed. And then I need to, I need to, I need to hit this button. I need to hit this. Look, starting soon screen. Look how smooth this is. Turn on, turn that off. Turn this on. Share screen. Go to application window. Turn this off. Turn this on. Click on this. Hit accept. Minimize this. There we go. And hey, what up, Kaysom? Hi, Sean. Hey, can I show you the shittiest deck I got? <laughs> okay, no, I'll, I'll I'll try to show you mine as well. Excellent, and then it's time for serious replay value because I've already selected the decks I'm going to be rocking, man. Check Let's it do out. it. Oh yes. All right, so this is Llama Five Thirteen's Elemental Sacrifice kinda deck. So. We run Korvold, the Dragon Noble. 
which I'm just going to say is the king of all things not human, okay? We have some other things, like we have like four overgrowth elementals kind of ham-fisted into this. Uh, we also have some things like Smelt Ward Ignis, an elemental that you can sack to gain control of a dude, which is kind of tight. Uh, and then we have a sack outlet. We have a thing that gets buffed from sacking, a thing that gets buffed from sacking, a thing that uh, makes elementals that sack. Then we have this, which we can play, and then we can sack it. And then don't forget Perforos' intervention. Summons an X1 red trample creature. Now, if I look at the land, there's 23. Good. So there's, like, elementals kind of, like, sporadically placed around. And I'm eager to see how it's actually going to perform because it has some look of a standard Racto sack deck. Like, it kind of has that stuff. But it also just has some green sort of smushed in there. So we're going to see if it actually pans out. Okay, get out of here. Sean, we have our win condition. You're dead. Just like that? Yeah, you've already lost. Well, let's let's just hold on right there, mister. That's it. I got it. That's my win con, Blo Sean. Can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. Do you feel threatened yet? You could say no. I did it. Countered. Countered. Oh, oh my goodness. Plan. What? I see, dude. You were about to dawn a hope, beloved princess me. So let's see here. I guess it's this. I got an overgrowth elemental, baby. What does that do? It When it dies, it makes things big, and when it enters, it makes things big. But I was unable to do either of those things. But look. But look. Oh. Oh. Now, yeah, I'm already noticing some violation of themes because I, I this is a human shaman. <laughs> yeah, you kind of made, yeah, I was going to say, this doesn't. <laughs> oh, it's a human. This just don't feel right, Sean. Well. This doesn't have trample over there, does it? No. What is that? Huh. Okay. Haha, <laughs> but I have run wow. this enchantment. Dude, this Sean, <laughs> you're, you're operating in... Yeah, this is uh, this is too advanced for me. Yeah, no, this is this is some real technology. I can't that function we're under with. these conditions. Well, that'll awesome. teach me to put 22 lands in my deck. Alright, so I'm gonna pop this. Okay. Makes that guy bigger. Whoa. I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't think I've even played against this card at all yet. It's even oh, limited. The smelt ward? Yeah, I like the blood aspirin. It's pretty sweet. And this. Oh Whoa. my gosh, that's right. Fabled passage with this puppy. This is so smart. Ooh. This is so smart. And then I can sack a creature. Deals one damage to target creature. That doesn't seem worth. We're going in, Unless everybody. Sacrifice the overgrowth. It's historic, Sean. What the no! It's been too long. You are you. You play with my heartstrings. You do. You know oh. exactly how to twist the knife. Ah. The wind con has arrived. Human. You can just say human. Yeah. Wait. How do you just say human? How does that work? I said human. <laughs> It works. There's a voice recognition software installed at MTGA. Just say human and it puts the type. Wait, did I? What? I've disabled emotes. How did I see your emotes? I can say hello. How did you say human? How did you say human? How did you say human? Do it again. Want me to do it again? Again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's the end of my career. I think that's it. I think... <laughs> The icon of ancestry made you name human. 
Major name human, major name human. I just thought you emoted human at me. I'm such a fucking idiot, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you stand next to my head, you can hear the ocean, man. This is so bad. I can't believe it. Oh no. What's your oh, next with the commentary no. on 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 uh, on magic? Oh, dude, Monday is just a savage day. Oh my god. God, I can't believe I wanted to know how you emoted. Oh. Ooh. All right, well, there's this one. To be fair, that says a lot about your, you know, your your trust in the quality of life and feature implementation. I think that, that speaks to that more than anything else. I'm going to sacrifice this. <laughs> to kill the giant, rest Got in him. peace. Oh my god, I am so embarrassed. Like, I, like, it actually, I feel a sting deep in my heart, man. And you're it like, it's a voice command. Dude, okay, you didn't see this, but on my screen, I opened the <laughs> options menu and looked. Okay, I was like, what? I don't believe it. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh. My ski lift doesn't quite get to the top of the mountain, man. It is... It is painful. Oh. Some things are, are more difficult than others, you know, to it's, get started. Yeah. By about 9 p.m., you should get go. You should get going, right? Like you'll, you'll have sort of revved up the engine. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm really looking forward to being able to go to sleep tonight because I actually think that part of the reason why creatures evolve the ability to sleep is just to get away from themselves. You know, like you're around yourself. Oh. Do you see the combo, Sean? Yeah. Do you see it? Oh, now, the humanity. Look, like, look at Beloved Princess, right? What can't it be blocked by? Creatures with power three or greater. Oh, man. Oh man, Llama 513, why'd you submit this deck to me, man? Why did I choose it? Well, I have a du I can Fabled Passage twice. You know what? Kill me! I'm hitting the enter button. Just, just annihilate me. I know there's no double white in that deck. Ooh. I can't believe I got this so hard. There's the princess. The thing is, we always forget, like, it's also, I think a lot of people who submit decks forget that we can play historic cards. I feel like half the decks have historic cards and the other half have none. Have you noticed, Sean? I have. I have, and I felt it. I felt it live. It was rough. This, this, this deck that I just played was one that was like, Theros is out, let's put in some of those. And let me look up Elemental and eight of these and go. And I looked at it and I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. It seems pretty good. And then I got Settle the Wreckaged. And then I got Harmonious Archond. That was agonizing. Okay, so now now it's time for serious business. I already know the deck that I'm going to be challenging you with for this first one. I've submitted a challenge to you. Oops, I canceled the challenge. I have submitted a challenge to you, Nox. Are you ready to play yeah. three games of By truth? the power of NordVPN. <laughs> Onward we go. Yes, today's episode is sponsored by NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash day9tv. Use the code day9tv to get 70% off three years and one month free. Bam! Look at that. Knuckles cracked. Ugh. Ugh. You, bam you bammed it. Sean. I'm ready, man. I'm going to bring back the deck that could not. And turn into bring the deck back that will. The deck that shoots you for 32. That's what I'm going to be doing, man. Now I know, though. You think it'll still work? <sighs> Not now that I know. That's a fascinating question. Uh, all right, well, we're hanging on to this one. You tricked we, me we, earlier. We really need a way to cast any of our cards. All right, this was the one that I just land disabled, right? Yeah, you did that earlier. That was the no. You, that was the thematic compass you did. The treasure map you never touched. I don't think I even played it last third, last game. Chromatic lantern. 
Okay, and then you're scrying to get stuff onto the bottom. I love treasure map. Oh, you can play creatures at flash speed, right? That's true. That is true! Ooh, hold up. <laughs> what are you doing? You can still walk what away. is your quest? Okay. The Thematic Compass is one of my favorite cards that has ever been printed, man. I just love these cute tech cards. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. A treasure map. All right. A fey burrow. Yeah. Elder. Elder. This deck runs two mountains. Two mountains. Well, you can get them. You just have to ramp, right? Don't have any of the ramp cards yet. There is wonder in a blade of grass. This mm. is something that uh, pleases but I'll be able me. to kill the walker. That can't help. Uh, this interaction. Again. Dude, Vivian Reed. Oh. Gosh, I forgot how many cards were rotated out at the end of last year that I just adore. What just happened? Wait a what in a minute? For each color among permanents you control, add one mana of that color. Oh my, oh my <laughs> god. Uh, she's human. She went to play with the non human, so. You know. Deserved. Teach you to. I what? I don't, I don't Be in the wrong deck, Vivian. I don't have any red mana. I don't have any red mana. Alright, well, you know what? That's not Timed. bad. We're just gonna blow this up. I also don't have any creatures in this deck outside of the Impervious Grey Worm. <laughs> Which runs four copies of Impervious Grey Worm, man. I think the, the do I have the mana for that? I think I might have the mana for this. God, I want to be able to cast Impervious Grey Worm. Oh no. Hold up. I need to do the numbers. I need to run the math. Run the numbers. Green, white. Black, red. Blue. <sighs> uh. Oh. That that God. that felt that felt good, Sean. I must admit. I mean that that is what the deck wanted to do earlier, and we did it, Joda. Yeah. Oh I mean, God. I. you know what? Zakama should not be in this deck, though. There's something about this that don't feel... I just... What do you think of that? What do you mean, what do I think of it, man? Like, I this mean, is, like, it's not You're a like human, John right? Wilkes Booth, and right after you shoot Abe Lincoln, you're like, do you think that this was the best way to commit murder? Is that... What do you think about uh, this? What like, do you think about Zakama for? in the, in the deck? <laughs> I'm not sure it was a good fit for the deck. <sighs> Why not? But, you know, Vivian is human, so I think it's fine. Yeah, I guess that's right. I guess that's right. Well, um, yeah, that did not go as planned. You know, I I really think that the uh, the double mountain in a deck that really needs to cast amplifier to do anything <laughs> is double something red. I would I would adjust that. Now it does have four fabled passages, but that's still something that I would adjust. Um, I I um I, that's I, six I'm mountains. Gonna, I'm gonna go back to something that I trust. This is. What do, what what on earth do I trust? Yeah, no, we're 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 doing some we're doing some rise of the land, man. We are going we're going to try to kill you with lands again. Okay. That that deck felt good to me. Currently, mankind is up one and zero against nature. But I you know a... you want to do the land the land thing. <sighs> All right, we're gonna bring out our special weapon that no one knows about, not even my chat. What? Yeah, this is the hidden deck tech. You're like DDoSing me. <laughs> no one knows about this Hello, one. Hello, like, oh, Mr. Cool. Mr. 4chan. <laughs> Can you hack uh, Day 9? On it! Alright, so... Yeah. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I see... 
Renowned weaponsmith. Renowned weaponsmith. You saw it. Not a bluff. It's not a bluff, Sean. Tisn't a bluff. Okay. Power stone shard. You get double colorless to be able to cast the power stone power stone shard. Mind stone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of stones. Oh no. It's a lot of stones. Oh my god. Maybe not the best pull, huh? You know you didn't have to put it down. Yeah, no, I I believe me, I wish I didn't you, have to put but it down. You wanted the mana. Okay. Okay. Now I can't even do anything with this, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double it. Four or five. Four That's or five good. for four. That's good. Feels positive. Now for any who are curious, the lotus field No. Until you have lived as a statue. No. Dude. No. <clears throat> Dude, no. Oh no. I will not lose another friend. Oh. We have to we have to plan this out properly. It's oh, gonna be gosh. difficult, Sean. See this is what this is what's tricky is that Lotus Field can only add three mana of one color. So I can't yeah. What is this? You Mr. can't give me at the beginning of your upkeep you may put a charge counter on Dark Seal Reactor. This card has never been printed before. I feel like this was just added to these accounts. I've never no, seen this, was, this card. No, this was in the historic anthology. <laughs> you've, just, you've just seen no one play it. No one plays historic. It's not up there. Oh, God. Did you hear it's the sound? angry baby time. Yeah. Almost as angry as your lands. Yeah, dude, from I'm what I can you, gather right? from the noise, he put his nose in the baby's mouth and the baby bit. <laughs> <laughs> just, these are the and kinds I of problems that, that don't... Funny. These are not like, you know, adult corporate problems where it's like, well, in this morning's meeting to try to figure out what to do about the upcoming event, uh, <laughs> Janet stuck her nose in Susan's mouth and Susan bit, and now Janet is refusing to complete any work on the project. Well, I'll talk to her. We have a policy for that. You know, Sean, I just, I, I'm not feeling the whole, uh, I'm going to kill you with Nisa again. I, I could do without that in my life. Is that, is that a crisis? That smells like a crisis. Yeah, it's absolutely a crisis. I mean, <laughs> good cards have been good for a long time. They're going to stay good in the future. Gosh. Yeah, that, that what, sounded what and man smelled like a crisis. Blood sun. blood sun? Oh, blood sun to remove the abilities and stuff. Uh, Whenever a foreigner enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a pirate, reveal it, put it in. Pirate enters battlefield. Nah, 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 nah. It's not. It's not All very right, good. I'm going in. Okay. I'm going in. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to just bonk. I'm gonna try. Oh, it to has just bonk. trample. 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 Mistakes. My favorite keyword. Mistakes may have been made. Mistakes were made. Okay, Sean. Put... Oh. There's definitely a question of whether or not I, I survive the turn. I mean, here's the thing. I, I am going to be hunting quite hard. For hunting? things that I want. What? Oh, finale? Please. Don't worry, what, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, you're, you're, you're going to play broad back? No, no. I'm, I'm just literally going to cast another Hydroid Crisis. <laughs> I just really, I really want this blood sign, you know? So... Wow. Wait, let me hit Z. You want to, you want to skip phase? No, okay. Z? 
Oh, to keep so mana I want to save two mana, right? For Blood Sun. Yeah, so we can I only get X it. equal six. I get it. Aha! Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which do you value most? Your son? No, I, I value the big boy. Okay. I didn't get it. Dang it. You didn't get the sun. I'm not attacking anymore. I'm going to kill you with lands, man. You're going to kill me with lands? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm not a foul monster. I know who I am. I know what I am. Okay. All right. I got a problem. Something, 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 cowbells. Tell me what it is. I got I to gotta do this. It doesn't feel very good, Sean. You need that mana mana, huh? Mm. Oh, you need the city's blessing. Ah. Whatever. I don't know how you're going to get enough charge counters, man. All right, very cute. All right, very cute. Very cute. Your human pirate wizard extra turn guy. Yeah. If you start threatening to kill me with this dark steel reactor, I'm going to swing out and I'm going to murder you. I never said anything about killing anyone. Don't put words into my mouth. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing? Because this is, I mean, this, this is what I live for. This is the type of Rube Goldberg nonsense. Yeah, so we just, uh, you know, shuffle the library with the renowned weaponsmith. We search for something that wasn't there. Now I got my turn. I mean, I don't know how strongly lucky you are. Like, I, I'm no, an extremely lucky person. Oh, I see. The Forerunner of the Coalition lets you find your time stream navigators. What? Yeah, well, that's I not the, that's not the problem. For me, I have other problems. What, okay, what just I can't I can't play the stuff I want to. Can't play the stuff you want to. Are you missing a certain type of mana? Helm of the Host, huh? So, I mean, if I swing, you die, yeah? Yeah. One more turn. You got it, man. You got it. I'm just going to be getting mana out. How much ramp is there in this deck? I feel like every game I've played against you, you've had uh, grow from the ashes and circuitous route every time, Sean. Good. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you just you just have it all, all the time. That's that's what I'm known for, man. All right. I'm known so for one being more the turn, right? boy in the world, dude. It's so funny. I just pass. Like when Kibler's here, he just like puts me to one, and then like sets it up so counter on his upkeep kills me, and I'm just like, come on, man, give me one turn. He's like, you get one turn. I'm like, oh god. All right, you get, like this is the last turn. This is the last and final turn. Let's see if you can make it work. So close, Sean. All right, there's another turn up and coming. What is it that you helm of the host in this? I need one more turn. You need one more. One more turn. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't think I can kind of get there. I, I needed, like, a bit more mana, you know? Yeah, no, I feel you there. Like, I, I super do. 
I needed to play Nisa for ramp in the deck. That would have worked, man. I'm I'm doing it right here, and it's it's Whoa. helping. That's Touched a dead, by the that, Cheeto, baby. That's a dead. That's a dead card. All right, let's let's just draw a billion with Hydroid Crisis. This is X equals seven. Now, okay, this this is I, I'm just gonna be smashing spacebar after this. You've had your opportunity. I I still don't know how you are supposed to try to win. You still don't. I mean, it's obviously with the Dark Steel Reactor, but is it that you keep putting Time Stream Navigators on top? And like, why the Power Stone shards and whatnot? They're cheap. Is it like Power Stone, and then you power you double Power Stone shard to equip to this thing, and then each turn, oh, and then you can use the new one to just create the turn. Is that is this the Infinite Turn Engine? Did you do it? You did it. I think, we, I think it's done. Oh my god. I mean, this... It feels good to have the ability to have killed you at any moment, but instead to just have the modern <laughs> marvel of the Dark Steel Reactor. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to concede. I'm going to sit here each and every turn. And this... I mean, this, this really, I feel like, ties back to the theme perfectly. That man can only succeed if nature lets him. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Okay. That's right. I see how... All right, buddy. All yeah, right. You're, All you're, right, bud. All right, buddy. You got your three Power Stone shards. Thank it all high yourself. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just maybe you're right. You're just... You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you lean forward. You're like, oh, wait. Do I still have the combo? Do we still got it? All right. So, dude, the, the, the clone from the Time Stream Navigator... Oh my gosh, we're getting to see all these sweet animations. I, the thing is, I, like, what is Dark Steel Reactor's purpose if we could just win with Full Runner of the Coalition, you know? It's true. It's true. You really should have been an Infinite Pirates deck. I mean, it obviously smooths things, smooths things out a bit. Because, like, this is way simpler if I just, you know, bounce back the real time stream and then use the Full Runner <laughs> to make more Full Runners, right? I mean, the, the, the new one will bring out the, the time stream. Either way. Oh, cute. So now you have the double win condition of the Dark Steel Reactor and all the pirates. Ah! Yeah, which is kind of, I, I, see, I, I just, I don't know what Dark Steel Reactor is doing. In the, I mean, I guess it's there to be funny in the sideboard. But it doesn't, it's not necessary, is it? It doesn't feel necessary. It feels yeah, very no, overkill. I mean, this feels like you got there. But oh, yeah. sportsmanship obliges. Mm. Mm. We'll pass the turn to Sean. All Don't right. get to do it, Sean. Oh yeah, here it comes. You want to swing with your big boys? I do. I do. Look at us. We're so sweet to each other. Digital friendship at its finest. Yes. Yay! Your lands, my man. Let's go. Let us make man lands. Is that how man lands were made? Man lands? Yeah. Like uh, Nathalia Drownyard? Not Nathalia Drownyard, the other one. Pit. Oh. Oh. Sean, did you choose Vivian as your avatar? Or is it just you randomly get her? I think that it is set that way because I think I was doing something with huge green creatures. Okay, because I, I picked Buckethead. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing right there. We're going to do profile. We're gonna select change avatar. Oh, oh, these are all locked for me. I like they're they're locked. Yeah. All right. Hey, we're tied one and one. After a very, we'll let you do your thing. Second match. Are you ready for the final go? Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do, do, do it. Do you know which one I'm bringing? Do you know which one I'm bringing? No, do you know? I have no clue. Oh, it's the Dino Pal deck. Oh my okay. god, yes. The one with Vivians? Mm. And it's, then it's going to be a rematch. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I brought out the no. Wall. Are we serious? Yeah, oh, no. 
It's war's oh. time, Sean. Oh. What have you done? Search for his Kanta. I can't That's believe. That's a much better start than you had earlier. This Kanta on two is about as good as this deck. Yeah, it's really. Militia Bugler. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's high alert versus. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm been in this, man. Yeah, you don't need a land giver if you've got lands. Okay. Oh, man. Off the top? Really? No, it wasn't really? off the top. I already had it. It's been there. I shouldn't yeah. even say off the top. I should just be like on curve. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> well, oh, shit. No land? Oh, Mama's a comma. No, no Elspeth conquers death. Okay. I mean, don't you have something to bring it back? Because I know you can bring back some stuff. Actually, no, you don't have any reanimation aside from Elspeth. I thought you'd have something to bring back permanence from your graveyard to the battlefield. I mean, just, just Elspeth creatures. Oh my gosh. Is this going to end so quickly? Yeah. Is this going to be get... over with such brevity? Yeah. Should have put some uh, Wrath of Gods in your deck, Sean. Oh, please go to the graveyard. Okay, that's Is that good, a land? But, like, I, I'm going to need some turns. You're going to need some turns. Okay. All right. Ah! You know, we're, we're, we're going to find out at end step. <laughs> I mean, you only have four. I guess you could get a Ribjaw Raptor, technically. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, we're going to discard one of my multitude of Vivians. Oh, my God. <laughs> give me a turn. Give me a turn. You better give me a turn. I give you so many turns. Uh, I know yeah, you yeah. let me uh, win. Yeah. But I need this. I need this badly. Yeah, you're going to get the turn. I'll do anything, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call in a favor next with the deck for a turn. I'm gonna offer crazy stuff. Be like, I'll give you my stream key. You can broadcast to my channel whenever you want. Right, Late night great. Cheetos eating stream. We're gonna be chomping in the microphone for five hours on end. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I need can't. a turn. I'm gonna need a turn. I'm gonna need okay. a turn. One more turn. Roar, snarl, and oh my god. I'm gonna need some turns. I'm gonna need some turns here, man. You just you just don't have to laugh that hard. <laughs> You don't have to laugh that hard. You don't have to laugh that hard. This is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything that transpired this game has felt unethical. Oh, I can't even cast my Ripjaw Raptor. No, because right. you don't have green. Drop a raptor to get a nothing. Shall we end it? I deserve this. What can I block? I can only block a bugler. I can't believe how badly we got owned. I can't believe. Get walled, mate. Oh my god, that started off very well. So yeah. epically. Yeah. Ascanta. Oh my god, I could have stacked mana for Arcbow. I'm ashamed. Yeah, on end step. I thought you would try to get another Zakama, but. I mean, I thought I would too if I had just remembered. Oh my god, the shame. The absolute. So he, the next one, the deck, <sighs> what we're going to do is going to be swapping out one of the two players with a viewer. <laughs> Provided they can pass a reading comprehension test. I can't believe you would do this to me. This show is not a license for you to be a sociopath. You're here to support me with entertainment and charm. Oh. 
People are entertained, Sean. Well, that's good. Yeah, that is good. You know, I want to I want to make a callback um, to something you were saying earlier about NordVPN. No, is it is it a well? I mean, we'll get to that, sure. <laughs> but w- about throwing to yourself. Yeah, in this last <laughs> match, much like in the opening, I did throw to myself because I forgot to Vivian Arcbow at end step to try to bring out another big scary Zakama. Oof. Well, in the end, it looks like man has overcome nature as it was wont to do. And with that, that is the end of the episode. And I need to say, Kaysom, thanks for playing with us today, man. Thanks for having me on, as always, Sean. I pleasure. Aye, 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 aye. Well, with that, that wraps up this episode. Once again, a uh, warm thanks to our sponsor, NordVPN. You can see the link in the URL right here, nordvpn.com slash day9tv, and you can use the code day9tv to get 70% off and one free month. We're going to leave now. Uh, it's important to note what the next theme of what the deck is. It is a Theros Beyond deck. It is a Theros Beyond death themed what the deck Pharaoh's Beyond Deck. Be- okay. Pharaoh's Beyond Deck. What the Death, yes. <laughs> well, then what the Death. The show where I die a lot. Um, the, uh, the theme is going to be, please submit to us a deck that is themed around gods. Now, for, don't forget, this is historic. So there are the new gods that have come in, but there are also the old gods, such as Ilharg the Razebore and whatnot. You may use lots of god themed gameplay and please make sure there's a lot of gods in there man we don't want to just be like here's heliod and a bunch of healing really make it a multi-god based deck and the other one is going to be built around the non-god enchantments we have auras we have sagas we have enchantment creatures we want your theros beyond death enchantment themed historic decks now those are historic these Words are just challenging These for me. Death decks are There's so much thirth. Th- 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 Listen, submit those over on discord.gg slash day9tv. You can see the discord below in the comments. You Here, mean submit- they 9 tv That's The they 9 tv Welcome to they 9 tv where we learn to be better themer. Um, yeah, you can go to the discord and you'll see the deck submissions channel for further instructions. Further? Without further ado, Knox. I'm signing off. Are you gonna be streaming at any point after this? No, I'm out. I got I got a family. I got kids. I got the dad duty. I said duty. Perfect. <laughs> you truly do have children. Yes, there's a lot of nose biting happening in the household that requires the father to step <laughs> on in and impose his nose based decision making. What, what even <laughs> is this? You know, there's stuff you're just not prepared for. That's just. Why would you put your mouth into a teething baby's nose? Like, just your, your nose into a... Why would you... Yeah, I mean, it's just... <laughs> Words it feels, are hard. It feels like millions of years of, like, genes and evolution. should That should just be ingrained in you. It's like, don't yeah. stick your nose in that. Like, I actually don't stick my nose in anything. I, I just kind of let odors waft towards it, and that's about yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, what's, but what, don't... What's the weirdest question that one of your kids has asked you? Like, Dad, why uh, does blank? Wh- why is that man pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And was this within earshot of said person? Oh, of course, yes. And did did you say? I mean, I said, he, you know, he's not pregnant. He says, why does he have a big belly then? I said, well, men and women can have big bellies. And we just moved on. And another time he asked a very old man who was just playing in the park... Like, hi, sir. Are, are you very old? And the man says, yes. And he says, are you going to die soon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, license to be a sociopath. That's fantastic. That's a perfect way to end. Sean, are you going to die soon? <laughs> yes. All right. Well, hey, okay, so thanks again. And uh, we'll see you uh. on the... Uh, I want to get the exact date for the next episode of What the Deck... It's going to be the week after the Mythic Championship. Or not the Mythic Championship. Oh my god, I'm going to fuck that up when I'm there. It's the week after the World Championship for Magic. 
It will be on Monday, February 24th. Monday, February 24th with guest Brian Keeler. Without any further ado, we're out. Peace. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. Peace, world. Have a good one. Day, nights.